The award-winning It's Movie Time is produced by John DeSando. Listen to the shows and read reviews at wcbe.org. I'm John DeSando. And I'm Linda Boss McClelland. This is It's Movie Time. It's Movie Time. Now, Linny. <laughs> yes, John. Ruben Ostlin's The Square. Yes, indeed. Won the Palm Door, that golden palm from Cannes in 2017. Right. Is there anything that you can see about this movie that would merit that highest distinction at Cannes? Um, yes, I, I think I do see something there. Um, just some basics. Uh, it stars Klaus Bang uh, with an appearance by Elizabeth Moss of TV's Ad Men, or Mad Men, excuse okay. me, TV's Mad Men. Um, it's intellectually challenging, and it literally held me hostage for two and a half hours. <laughs> That's a good phrase. Uh, it's not a plot-driven film. It's more situational. And just from some basics, Bang plays Christian, the handsome, privileged, accomplished curator of the, I love the name of this, the important contemporary ex-Royal Museum of Stockholm. Uh, <laughs> the title of the film refers to their new exhibit which is a small square in the front plaza, and it has just a little bit of thin white light around this square. And this small square represents a safe place of trust and caring, and these are the words they use, all share, all share equal rights and obligations within this square. Right, it, it's a performance art, and uh, it appears that Oslin, among many other topics, you are so right, this is just full of thematic possibilities. Right, it just goes and, from one and, thing to the next. Right, and, and although it's such an award winner, it is truly has way too many things for its own good. Well, when I walked out, I thought this could have been two movies no, instead three of three or one. four. But anyway, that performance art, the questionable nature of performance art and abstract art and whatever you want to call it, right. just a square, most any normal person would say this is art. Yeah. But anyway, supposedly it gets you into that caring that safe, caring area, and <laughs> and the film is hardly about being safe or, or about caring. caring. Exactly, right? it's very ironic. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, it's Christian's job to sell this exhibit, um, and the first crucial situation that occurs is when he's walking to work to the museum, and he has his phone, wallet, and cufflinks stolen uh, in a sidewalk setup. And so when he gets to the museum, he is still very distracted by this theft. Uh, and he quickly approves of an appalling marketing campaign for the new square. <laughs> this is great. Stolen. They, I mean, it's just dreadful. <laughs> they blow up a baby. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I couldn't even watch they it. Gets, it certainly gets the attention. But here's another thematic possibility for Oslin, which is the use of promotion for art and particularly right. ad agencies who have no idea what the art museum really wants to do is just getting attention, which it did. Right, and right. that was a bad move for our curator. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, even in his personal relationships, he, it's, it's dubious as to whether he's honorable or whether he's just um, really a cad. Uh, when he's, when he's uh, dealing with Elizabeth Moss as right. the, the TV reporter uh, and he beds her, there is a terrific scene I've never seen before where they're arguing over the, the, the condom after they've used it. Oh. And, and uh, it's really such an odd... It's very odd, very awkward. The whole thing was very, very right. awkward. But you know, I finally figured that one out. Well, tell well, me. Well, I think it's clear that she may want to use his sperm. <gasps> That's the first thing I thought of. Right, right. And But I think in a more general way for Ostland, it's the battle of the sexes. Uh -huh. It's the unsafe an uncaring world right. that we are now into, and particularly the privileged, because that's where Oslin's is strongest. Uh, our curator represents the privileged class, and Oslin is bringing in those who are not privileged. Right. Think of any one sequence that that, that well, talks you know, about Well, all that. these uh, people rushing off to their well, their good-paying jobs. Um, they're well dressed. Uh, they look very affluent. And they walk right past beggars on the street. Good. Uh, and just, they are totally unaware of what's really going on around them. And they just don't care. They're unaware and they don't care. Um, <laughs> and, and, you know, even he uh, gets a little testy with a, a woman he's trying to help on the street. Uh, 
He, he goes in to buy her something, and, and she said she didn't want onions on that sandwich. He has onions on right. it. He needs too some, bad. Right, too bad. So there's there's an unnerving relationship between the rich and the poor, right. and Oslin seems to be very happy to play on all of this. Right, and I, I find it I found it so amusing uh, the the high minded contemporary art world uh, that is so pretentious in this film, and I think <laughs> in real life they sometimes can be. Um, they see themselves as the cultural elite. They've turned their back on real skill and the beauty of art. Instead, they see art as a gallery filled with mounds of gravel. Well, and that, isn't that a beautiful scene? There's these little cones of, yes. of dirt. Right for one exhibit, and and I I, I think I, I I I might infer from that that what they're doing is just about as valuable as <laughs> mounds of dirt. <laughs> right, and, and then there's another exhibit that is um, just a tower of precariously stacked metal desks, and every once in a while you can hear a recording <laughs> of the desks crashing. <laughs> Um, and you're going, okay, this is art, that's fine with me. Lenny, from your experience as a docent with the Columbus, <laughs> Muse with the Columbus Museum of Art, uh, how do, does this fit at all with anything that you've experienced there? No, uh, to be honest with you, no, not a thing. Uh, but this is the way of the new art world, um, some of it. But I think they try to pre be pretentious just to confound other people. I mean, they don't want people to understand because they want other people to think that they're so above them intellectually. And that seems to be more appropriate for the contemporary art museum than a traditional one. Right, such exactly. As, such as ours. But yeah, but you'll hardly see this kind of confrontational uh, experience as you see with, with this place. Right, right. This was very unique. Um, but all these situations, it, it goes from one situation to the next to the next. But they all seem to take aim at art, sex, and money. Um, it just, it's, and they're all sort of performance art pieces. <laughs> but I want the viewer, I don't want to elaborate too many uh, situations no. that are in the whole, because I want the viewers to be swept away like I was with all these questions that kept popping into my mind. Sure. Um, like the very awkward one night stand that Christian has yes. with Anne. Okay. Why does she have a huge, ugly chimpanzee for a All right, and that's a fair question. I am not sure, and that's probably one of the weaknesses of the film, that Oslin fleshes that out at all, except that there probably is a connection with the banquet scene. Yes, indeed. And the banquet scene is the signal oh my goodness. scene of this film. Yes. You have to see it right. to appreciate it. It will put you on the edge of your seat, oh, and goodness. it includes... Uh, a performance artist uh, as a, well, I would guess as a as a gorilla. A gorilla. I mean, right. the and actor who did this scene was Terry Notary of Planet of the Apes. Yeah. Uh, and it's a very pretentious uh, black tie dinner for the museum's yeah. donors. And here comes this performance artist. And that's all we're going to say, Lenny. Okay. <laughs> because I really would like them to experience it. Uh, yes. Uh, let me just say this, and you set it up, so I'm going to just fish finish that one point that you're making. In this black tie dinner, it would appear that Oslin is trying to show how removed the uh, privileged class is from the workings of the real world exactly. as this right. gorilla type guy begins doing his performance art. You can see how distant the privileged class is from the exceptional uh, danger Right. That is presented here. Exactly. All right, Lenny, we have done a oh. terrific job on a film called, I know you have much more to say. <laughs> I could say a lot I more. I know you could. But we have a film called The Square. It's a Swedish film, and it won a top prize at Cannes Film Festival. What grade, Linda Boss McClung, <laughs> would you award this film? <laughs> uh, this film isn't for everyone, <laughs> but... Is that the grade, or is that... No, 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 oh, okay. but... It's it's quirky, it's stylish, uh, it's sophistication personified, and I, I give it a B. All right, and I'm going to award it an A minus just because I love ambiguity, obscurity, and I love the attack on the privileged class. <laughs>